formed a company, Angus Soft Roots, in 94, and very quickly we could see that we needed to have points of difference and offer improved varieties from what we grew currently at that time. So we invested in a breeding program and the whole message behind that program and what we've done all our lives is to try and improve the quality of the fruit and the flavour. And I think over the years we've managed to, to do that and that culminated in our first variety that we uh, developed, which, which was Ava itself, and that was the first premium variety in the UK, and we launched that in 2003. We managed the germination of a new seed, a brand new, one of, one of its kind in the world, and developing that, multiplying it up, uh, propagating it, and then getting it out to all our group of farmers that we have in, in this region, and, uh, and then growing it commercially. And we think we've identified a quicker route to market as we possibly can. Well, the first stage of a breeding program is to collect your parent material, which will represent the potential for all new varieties in any different uh, region throughout the world. Clearly, uh, for a breeding program, you need to collect uh, plant material that you can use as parents that will represent potential for new varieties in all the different regions you expect those varieties to be successful. So the first stage is to make sure you've got the right parents for each location that you're hoping to be successful in. And then it's about making crosses, producing seeds, uh, turning those seeds into healthy plants, and then selecting from all of those seedlings uh, new material that's got the characteristics that will work in different locations. It's always been our intention to develop new varieties which give a point of difference and are of a high enough standard to fall into the category that we prepare to call AVA. And that gives them a point of difference in terms of having a premium variety, but also these varieties are selected with better disease resistance, better flavour, better yield than other varieties that are currently available to them. So the upshot is that if we release a variety with an AVA prefix, it will always give the grower a better return than if he continues to grow his existing varieties. Ava is uh, actually a trademark name and the story behind the name Ava is that when we released our first variety it was called Ava and its keynote difference against all other varieties available at that time was a very very strong highly regarded flavour but also coupled with very good disease resistance and it had such resonance with consumers, retailers and growers, we decided to link all future varieties to that name. So we trademarked the name Ava, and every time we select a premium, really good quality variety, we prefix its name with Ava. And as we've developed opportunities, marketing, growers have approached us, so every time we've reviewed the business and the breeding program, the research projects that we have in place, we've looked at the increasing size of the business and initially having grown varieties for our Scottish production we needed to have varieties that would give us uh, a point of difference with our European suppliers and then all global suppliers. So we now have an incredible resource here where we can uh, produce varieties that are suitable for production more or less anywhere in the world. We have a year-round activity here and so to allow us to do that we have uh, invested in a resource that gives us complete climate control for 365 days of the year. We've got glass houses, uh, we've got polythene tunnels, we've got outside areas, all of which are managed and controlled to give us a complete combination of environments that reflect what plants may receive when they're relocated to different geographical places. So we've been quite careful as to how we've um, designed the resource that we have here for growing. Uh, in the glass house we have quite sophisticated control uh, of the environment and different zones within that environment so that we can have high temperatures, low temperatures, long days, short days. Uh, we can subject plants to uh, cold weather and we can subject plants to very high temperatures. And so what we're able to do is we're able to mix up the environment that the plants may grow in so what we're looking for all of the time is to work in partnership with our suppliers and to that end we have trial sites in um, Egypt, in Morocco, in France, in Spain uh, and in Northern Europe in places like Holland. And we work with people um, on the basis of them having access to the Ava varieties to test and decide if they want to commercialise them. 
with our technical support teams, but very much on the basis that we're looking to uh, find a partnership way so that the strengths of the growers, for example, in Spain are supported by the varieties that we can develop from here. It's proved to be quite a useful formula because the ability of growers to produce fruit in Spain is better than ours, but our ability to produce new varieties and understand the genetics and the parentage requirements, particularly for the UK and Northern European market, is very well understood. I'm Mark Vergennep, owner of Vergenton BV, a software plant. The Everberries are very uh, good tasting uh, varieties with a good, very good texture and uh, with a high yield. They are very healthy and strong, very good uh, against diseases. The growers will like the high yielding, uh, the good flavor and texture. They are very uh, easy to pick and uh, with a low class of, of low percent of class too. I will recommend any grower, very good yielding, very hardy and good flavor. Have very varieties. Their top yielding quality of fruit is very, very good. Shelf life is super. Supermarkets love them. Our pickers love them. Lovely shape in them. They're quick to pick for them. The flavour is just wonderful in them. Absolutely beautiful flavour in them. We get marvellous support from Angus Soft Roots from their technical team, their agronomist team, both here in the UK and in Holland, which is fantastic for us. It's in invariable to us, really for their varieties. The quality of the fruit shape is massive. Your percentage of class one is very, very high compared to other varieties that are out there. Um, they're just really, really good sweet berries. We do regular shelf life testing here at the nursery ourselves. There's nothing to match them really. Shelf life is always anything up to 48 hours longer than uh, anything else that we've seen. Gives us a point of difference in the market. So we have a premium strawberry, which retailers want and at the end of the day that means it's more viable for us long term. Feasible berry to grow, it obtains premium prices for it which in return gives a better return for the grower. As a grower the Ava berries are high yielding, they are easy to grow, they have uh, good plant characteristics, the fr fruit presents itself well and hence it's easy to pick. They are firm in quality, they have good texture uh, and, hen and hence their shelf life is uh, exceptional. So our customers really like them. We have very good support from our research and development team and they are always at hand to meet these challenges ongoing. I would have no hesitation in recommending these varieties to some of our fellow growers. Most importantly they are high yielding which is, which is paramount. They are a pleasure to sell.